beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode of Weekly Angel Guidance. This is your reading depending on where you are in the world from April the 15th to the 21st. So this is an amazing week for a number of reasons. Um, we're going through three phases of the mood this week. So we're going to be beginning the week on Monday, finishing off that action phase of the moon. Then from Tuesday to Thursday, we actually have the Gibbous Moon, which is asking us to trust the process, which is going to be a little tricky because come Friday, we then have the full moon in 29 degrees of Libra. Now, this is the second full moon in Libra. The last one was a month ago and it was in the first degree. No, no actually, it was in zero degrees of Libra which is interesting because Libra is a sign all about balance. And as you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that from the beginning of this year, so basically for the past, we're well, going into the fourth month now, it's all been on restoring the balance. Now, because the full moon is in 29 degrees of Libra, it's like you're coming to the end of it. Maybe something has been brewing within you. Um, it's so interesting because I heard that song, something has changed within me, something is not the same, which is that um, the lyrics from Defining Gravity, which was interesting because those lyrics came to me this week too. And it's crazy that I heard them for you as well as I've just pressed record. You know, so something has changed within you. Like you've been able to see, um, maybe you've been able to see things uh, and then I heard, I bruise easily, so be gentle when you handle me. There's a mark you leave when you love her. Da, 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 da. Bruise easily. I can't remember who that song's from. So be gentle. Natasha Bedingfield. There we go. That's probably not the word. This Anyway, Natasha Bedingfield. Just type in I bruise easily lyrics and see what comes up for you. So I feel like because of what's going on astrologically this week, we're finishing the end of a cycle. And it's interesting because it's like, you know how I said for the new moon in Aries, it was like, yeah, that fiery energy, but I haven't felt that fire. If anything, it's been feeling like this really delayed healing time, which, you know, as well, kind of makes sense. Like as you're starting something new, you kind of saw things for how they are and you're like actually that shit does not fly with me and you've been able to learn to heal and you've been able to see things maybe you actually haven't taken action yet maybe you have been collecting all the evidence and now this is a time in which some of you could have a divine intervention because i know that the moon is opposite also uranus and uranus is like unexpected changes um maybe unexpectedly you you know it's like you can see clearly for the first time in forever, everything's going my way. So I wonder what this means for you. Anyways, if you're new to the channel, my name's Mel. I make videos every Monday or Sunday, depending on where you are in the world. And hopefully you guys are joining me on the live chat. And I'm actually filming this today, which is my birthday, April the 14th. I have been trying to film this reading for two days, but I have been out of alignment. So I'm getting, I'm literally dressed ready to go to go away with my beautiful husband to eat all the beautiful, delicious vegan food. And I was like, I have to film this. So I don't know how good the editing is going to be. Apologies if the cards aren't on the screen, but I'll try my best. Um, okay, so the first card for Monday. So this is the first quarter. I take inspired action and allow it to flow with ease. So let's see what this is. Oh, okay. So we have the nine of wands. Okay, so wands basically rep... What's happening with my mic? Nothing. Okay, it's just flashing. <laughs> so the wands is basically like your passion projects, moving in the direction of things that like set your soul on fire. But the nine represents that you're kind of like reserving your energy right now. You're kind of like, I know that this is the action phase, but you don't really feel... Well, that's kind of how I've been feeling. I'm like, this is the action phase of the moon. And I have been like, like this. I haven't found my spike. Um, which is interesting because the action phase, I'm always like, boom, 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 boom. But sometimes a couple of weeks ago, I was saying it's better to do like less is more. So you've kind of got your strength in reserve. You're ready to take that action when you feel it's the right timing. So I feel like you're kind of like prepping yourself for what's coming, 
which is interesting because I feel like you're definitely going to know when the time is right. Um, I kind of heard a song, but then I missed it. Um, nope, last step. All right, Tuesday, Gibbous Moon, trusting the process as everything's working out for you. I had to change my camera angle, by the way, because I just didn't have time to set it up properly. It took me long enough to figure out how to do my headscarf today. I was having a bad headache. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. There's a card that's flipped over. And the only card that's flipped over is the 10 of pentacles. Whoa, this is a big deal, guys. Okay, so the 10 of pentacles basically, rep well, pentacles represents abundance in whatever aspect that looks like for you. But it's also like you're on the dragon's back and you're headed towards like the castle. But it's also the balance of material and spiritual. It's also, she's just at peace and she's got this massive peach. If you remember the pentacles, oh, there were so many different ones. I think the seven of pentacles, she was like looking at the fruit. She's like, do I pick it? It's like, yes, the, you know, the time is now when she's picked it. But she's also very much grounded in her decisions grounded just I just feel like it's more like grounded within herself which is and I'm sweating so much with this reading um is this am I not in alignment what does this mean they're showing me a picture of the ground okay so this is like being grounded and knowing that like you've gotten to a level of abundance and you're kind of like whoa like think of it i think it was a while ago this year i was like okay you have manifested it once you can manifest it again oh, these cards keep flipping look i oh, know can you see that oh shivers okay so there was three cards that came out i'm just going to pull this continuously for tuesday oh we had this card this week uh last week so the five of wands which is like there's obstacles that are coming there are obstacles. I keep hearing that song. Something has changed within me. Something is not the same. I'm tired of playing by the rules of someone else's game. Uh, let me just check the lyrics. Hold on. Uh, if I can spell defying gravity. Because you won't bring me down. Uh, let's see. Something has changed with someone the I'm through with playing with the rules of someone else's game. Too late for second guesses. Too late to go back to sleep. It's time to trust my instincts and close my eyes and leap. Ugh. That's crazy that I had this song this week come up in a moment where I was like not feeling my best. And it's, that's all I'm hearing. Maybe this was me preparing. I had to clean, cleanse my vibration so I could give this message to you. Okay. Something has changed within me. So it's like, yeah, I feel like you're kind of sick and tired of all of the obstacles that you've had to being dodging and you kind of got into a level where you're like, that shit ain't flying with me anymore. And you're kind of like, Bleh. you also got the 10 of, what is that? 10 of swords, which is falling. Um, allow this mess to fall away because the angels are saying like, darling, I'm trying to prepare you for what's to come. You have to let it go. And then you've got the Knight of Cups, which is like you're on a journey to find that emotional stability, that emotional balance. Whatever area of your life that has been unbalanced, which has resulted to unbalance you in where you're at. This could be, the imbalance could come from career, could come from relationship. It could come from friendships. It could come from so many different areas. And your angels are saying, okay, you need to trust the process as everything is always working out for your highest good. You have to surrender to the process. Surrendering, which is letting the shit fall. And I've always said this, what is rightfully yours will always stay. I just keep hearing those lyrics. Oh, I love that song. Which is interesting because, you know, I had friends who like, I've seen the musical Wicked before in London. I was like, oh, it's lovely. But I never really appreciated the lyrics of that song until this week. All right, let's see what we need to know for Wednesday. Oh my God, they're doing it again. See, they're all, I'm not even, 
Okay, so the Eight of Cups is basically an opportunity for you to be like, okay, this has to fall and you're choosing what feels best. What feels, what is your, because remember the lyrics it says, it's time to trust my instincts, close my eyes and leave. It's time to, oh, it's freaking high to sing. Defying gravity, I think I died to find gravity and you won't pull me down. Yeah, so you're choosing, I feel like this is, it's time to trust my instincts and take a leap, take a blah, 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 whatever the lyrics are. So let me pull my notes back up. Yeah, I feel like this is you kind of, which is interesting because it's, <laughs> the lyrics that are here for that is time to trust my instincts. And this is in the gibbous moon, which is all about trusting. So you know what feels good and you're going to be like, growing your lady balls. That's what I say to my coaching clients. You need to have your lady balls and like freaking use them. All right. Is there any more that flipped over? That was so bizarre. How bizarre, how bizarre. Whatever that song is. That's a 90s song. Okay, uh, Thursday. So see what we need to know for Thursday. Angels, what do my MK Love Femme need to know for the Gibbous Moon? that one. Page of Pentacles. I felt a bit hesitant to pull that one. And they're like, in my head, I'm like, you said trust your instincts. <laughs> okay, so the page of, I, don't, I think I always am hesitant with this card because I don't like the way that it's interpreted, like it's drawn. You know how some decks you get them and you're like, I love all of them except for these couple of cards. I think that's why one day I'm going to have my own deck and I'll have them the way that I want them to be. Anyways, so the page of pentacles is like you've gone to, because we had the, we have the 10, so we're moving on. So the page is basically, it's like she's got the, it's still the trusting. She's like, she's kind of like very um, calculated. I don't think calculated is the right word. She's not making decisions. Oh, how do I word this properly? Angels, please help. It's kind of like she's had to like shut her mouth for a bit and she's been very guarded. But in that time, she's been able to like. Oh, how do I get this out? I can't get this out. Let's go back to this one. It's like, you know what feels best for you and now you've gotten to a stage I feel like I'm just talking to my ass today is this right I'm questioning myself because I feel like I've been out of alignment for two days <laughs> if only what you could hear what's in my head and my angels are like no 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 I'm living without you I'm not living without you. I, okay. I wanna be free. Yeah. I'm staying, stay. And you, and you, and you, you're gonna love me. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so it's kind of like you kind of like, you've, think of it as like you were like the, the dark horse. Katy Perry has a song called Dark Horse, doesn't she? It's like kind of like, I can't get the words out for this one. Is this like, oh, but she's like on a dragon. Okay, let me just talk you through the pictures. She's on a beautiful dragon. She has the owl there. She's deeply grounded and she's on this massive pentacle. It's like she has achieved so much, but she knows that there is more out there and she's like kind of like not settling. She's not settling for where she is because she knows that she can get more. I need clarity. Whoa, okay. Okay, so the six, whoop. Oh my gosh, I lost that card. Hold on. It's a good one, fight for it. <laughs> okay, so the six of wands is like victory. So she's not settling and she knows that she's going to win this battle, but she's also being careful because I hear that song. I bruise easily, so be gentle when you handle me. There's a mark you leave. When you love her, dun, 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 dun. 
that song is coming up again. So it's like a victory. You've kind of gotten to a level where you're like, this is where I am, but this is not this is not all of I am. This is just an aspect of me. And I know that there's so much more in which I can give. Ooh, girl. All right, um, Friday. So this is the full moon. So if you're in LA, this is gonna be your 4, 12 a.m. New York, 7, 12 a.m. London, 12, 12 p.m. 12, 12, amazing, 3, 3, divinely protected. It's crazy that I'm gonna be actually in that time zone. Okay, New Delhi, this is going to be 4, 42 p.m. Brisbane, 9, 12 p.m. And Auckland, 11, 12 p.m. Okay, so there is a lot going on. Let's see what we need to know for this full moon in Libra. Well, the energy is very dominant and it, it messed up my pile on Tuesday. What was that one again? Oh, okay. So let's see what we need to know. So this is for Friday. There are three cards. I'm gonna pull the first one and see if I need clarity. Whoa, okay, Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is an interesting one because this is like either you, it's lies and deceit, to be frank. <laughs> it's lies and deceit. Either this is you. I would run away with you. Cause I am falling in love. The cause, what the heck? And then I heard you gotta keep it separated. So where is the lies and deceit? And where are you, do you feel like you're running away? Where do you need to restore the balance? What is coming up? Okay, so we got the full, which is interesting. I'm pretty sure we had that last week or the week before. So this is the beginning of a journey. And then we have the page of swords. My head is throbbing. The page of swords. I don't know if this is me because I've been experiencing a lot of headaches the last couple of days. I'm like, is this an energy shift or is this me? I, sometimes I can't tell the difference. Um, okay, so the page of swords is, is kind of like She's surrounded by light and darkness, but she's choosing to nurture the light. You can see the white swan that is on her lap. But she, oh, she, oh, ah, damn, it's hurting. She's got her sword, so she's like, don't mess with me. We've got two swords and we've got the fool. So this is like lies and deceits. Lies and deceits but then choosing the light. It's like, you're not gonna allow the lies or the injustices that have been bestowed with, upon you for a while. You're kind of just allowing that to just like be. You're not allowing it to be anymore. This reading is making me so like uncomfortable. I feel like sweaty and clammy and I just feel like, but this is also the fool. It's like you have to, you're doing things that scare the absolute bejesus of you but it's like but darling what if you fly like what's the best that can happen stop thinking about what's the worst that can happen in this situation i don't know how these lies and deceits has come to you this could be a partner cheating this could be your boss doing things that don't sit right with you this could be living in a situation that doesn't feel right to you and you feel like you're micromanaged this could be um i don't know what does this mean for you this is it's tough because this is a general reading all right, so Saturday, what do we need to know for Saturday? I'm just still shocked that I'm reading on my birthday. That was never the plan, was it? But I, I couldn't not read for you, you know? Like I just, I couldn't not have a video. Okay. So so, okay, so we have the six of wands. So the six of, oh no, six of swords. So this is kind of like being taking, a, like you're taking yourself away from the situation. And that's probably why I heard the song running, run away from the cause. Let me just see if I can find the lyrics. I don't even know if that's the words. Falling in love. Um, close the door, lay down upon the floor and the, and by candlelight, make love to me through the night. Ooh, make love to you. Cause I have run away with you. I'm never gonna stop falling in love with you. Whoa, it's very romantic. Say it's true, there's nothing like me and you. Not alone, tell me you feel it too. And I would run away. I would run away. Yeah, I would run away with you. It's. But I don't feel like it's running away as in like you're running away because 
you're not facing the problems. I feel like you have been facing the problems for a long time and you've gotten to a point where you're like, kind of like, I'm not gonna say that. It's a throat, it's a throat chakra problem. I think that's why I'm having so much trouble getting this out. And I keep hearing, you gotta keep it separated. It's like you're separating from yourself that isn't a vibrational match to where you want to be. It may have been a vibrational match. Well, it has been a vibrational match to you in the past, but you're now realizing you're seeing things from a different perspective and you're like, this is not serving my highest good. You are not living the life in which I want. I want, <laughs> I want more. I want to be where the people are. Now we're... I'm channeling the Little Mermaid. I, I wanna see, wanna see him dancing, walking along on those. What do you call them? Feed up where they rock, up walk, up where they run, up where they stay all day in the sun, wandering free. Wish I could be part of that world. Okay. We're channeling the little moment. <laughs> Dreams really do come true. Okay. Yeah, you want the freedom and you're just like, I'm done with this. Okay. Oh, that kind of made me really happy. Uh, okay, so Sunday, release anything or anyone that no longer serves your highest good. Sunday, and then I'm gonna read the focus card. crazy when I'm out of alignment then I kind of like lose my confidence and then I'm like is this right okay oh rebirth the end of a cycle this is the end hold your breath and count to ten feel the earth moving you're really transforming a lot and this has been he had it coming he only had himself to blame if you'd have been there you would have seen it i bet you you would have done the same okay so this could be this could have been a long time coming this could you be pr like preparing yourself to take action. I feel like the action is delayed because I don't feel like it's happening in the moment. Massive pain behind my eye. Okay, let's get the focus cards. I just need to drink a cup of tea again, hold on. The sun isn't even fully up yet, by the way. What time is it? It's eight o'clock, but it's like, doesn't even look like daylight. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland. <laughs> Thank you very much. Abundance, Eight of Pentacles, Abundance. You have done the legwork. This has been a long time coming. Oh God. The left side of the body is the feminine. The giving, the giving. Hold on, let me just check out the metaphysics. Oh, bring my laptop over. Left side of body, metaphysics. Always El Hay always helps me out with this. Nope. Oh, I'm two different sources say two different things. Oh no, 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 I'm right, no, no. The left side of the body is often regarded as the feminine side, the receiving side, where you take in. So it's like you have been absorbing all of this for such a long time and you've gotten to a point where it's like, it's not enough. Never, never, never enough. <laughs> oh my God, what's happening to my hair? Really? Bloody hell. Mm, let's get clarity. I kind of feel like it's about you've gotten to a point where it's enough not never enough It's like it's enough. Just cut it out Cut it out one last card angels for clarity on this whole week's reading, please because okay 
Ace of Swords. It's interesting that it's the Ace of Swords because the Ace is the beginning. The Ace of Swords is also a double edge. So you have to be very careful in the way in which you deal with the situation, especially because of this Uranus energy that's coming up, which is like, Uranus is very like unexpected. So plan for the worst, kind of like have your backup plan, but no, keep focusing on the Eight of Cups, what feels best for you and you have to go with it. If you're kind of like, like Peter and I, where we are now, we we're not comfortable in the place in which we're living. It's just temporary until we find the place in which we're looking to stay for like a year. And we've been going through the stage to be like, do we stay in Australia? Do we stay in Ireland? I don't know what to do. Um, and I had this dream and I saw myself in December and I was still here. And I was like, really? I'm still gonna be here? I thought I'd be going back to Australia. And we're trying to sort out to, for me to get a visa to stay longer because my tourist visa ends in like a month and a half or something. But my mom is coming over in July when we're meant to be having this wedding celebration thing and I'm like, what the heck? Like what is going on? I don't know why I told you that, but yeah. Okay, this is a massive transformation. You've seen it. It's been coming up for a while. You need to defy gravity. Well, let's go back to that song. Um, I hope you're happy now. I hope you're happy now. Heard. Yeah, you need to listen to that. It's, it's very difficult to sing. I haven't even like warmed up yet. I'm through accepting limits just because someone says they're so. Some things I cannot change, but I will... But till I try, I'll never know. Too long I've been afraid of losing love. I've guessed I've lost. Well, if that's love, it comes at much too high cost. Higher cost. I'd sooner by defying gravity. Kiss me goodbye. I'm defying gravity and you can't pull me down. Together we're unlimited. Together you'll, we'll be the greatest team. If we work in tandem, there is no fight we cannot win. Just you and I defying gravity. Are you coming? It's like, are you coming? Are you coming to save yourself? Last week was defying, was um, you, you, the fighter song from uh, Christina Aguilera. I don't really, I feel like defying gravity kind of is the theme. Is it? Yes. There's a lot you're going to be going through this week. So I'm not going to give you a recap. You basically know we're already at 29 minutes. I somehow have to edit this and be in the car within an hour. I don't know how the hell that's going to happen. I've got to call my mom too. <laughs> ah! Okay, trust the process. Trust the process. You have kind of been feeling this for a while now. You're coming to the end of the cycle. You've been seeing the injustices and the imbalances and you're kind of like, I have nothing, I have nothing to lose, you know? You have gotten to the stage. Keep, I know there's a lot of you in some crazy relationships because I talked to you in my strategy sessions. Um, I want to read this out to you again. This little section. Um, for those of you who are struggling in relationships, because a lot of you have been going through really difficult relationships, really like long-term relationships, and you are already at the stage where you have children. I know the majority of you don't because, well, actually I don't. I, well, my analytics basically suggests that my target age group is from 24 to 35. That's where most of you are. Anyways, I, I feel like the people that are jumping on the calls are at the stage where they have been in these relationships for a while and it's gotten really, really bad. So this is for you. This is not for all of you. It says, I'm through with accepting limits because someone says they're so. Some things I cannot change, but until I try, I'll never know. Too late, too long I've been afraid of losing love, I guessed I've lost. Well, if that's love, it comes at much too high a cost. Think about that. I'm gonna leave you with that. I wanna say thank you so much for all the beautiful souls that joined me on the live chat. Oh my gosh. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and you would see that I would have done a story of me in my pajamas <laughs> um, because that's how I'll be responding to you right now. <clears throat> Anyways, my love, have an amazing week. Be very mindful about those thoughts that you have been thinking because you probably will need to take action to move that along this week. I don't feel like it's really happening in the action phase of the moon. I kind of feel like you're restoring things in your tank because it's 
even though it's the action phase of the moon, you kind of like know, like preempting what you need to do. But I kind of feel like it's going to be a little bit delayed. Um, trust your intuition and you'll find that victory. You'll, you know, you have to put your arms out and feel, be like Jack and Rose on the Titanic, you know, surrender to the process. It's going to set you free. This week is not going to be easy, but this is kind of like laying the foundations, as I've been saying, for the next 30 years. Do you want to be in this toxic relationship for the next 30 years? Do you want to be living with your parents for the next 30 years? Do you want to be working this shitty job that doesn't fulfill you and makes you feel like you're going backwards in the head? Where do you want to be? You have to you have to fight for yourself. And that's what I've been saying last week as well. You have to fight for yourself because no one's going to fight for you. Only you can fight for yourself the way that you know feels truly best for you. Surrender to the process. You're going through a massive rebirth. Rebirths are painful. It means saying goodbye to a situation which once served you and saying thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But I'm surrendered to the process because I set me free. That's like Samantha in Sex in the City movie where she's like, I love you but I love me more. Oh my God, I have to go. My, I've already, it's already four gigs of recording and I'm out of memory. I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for joining me and I will talk to you soon. Bye and happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. I'm 32. All right, bye.